Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am here to introduce the intermediate microeconomic subject technology. Technologies. A technology is a process by which inputs are converted to an output. Labor, a computer, a projector, electricity, and software are being combined to produce this lecture. Usually several technologies will produce the same product, a blackboard and a chalk can be used instead of a computer and a projector. Which technology is best? How do we compare the technology? Input bundles. We can show these bundle input bundles. Xi denotes the amount of input used of input I. That means the level of input I, that means the quantity. So, that input bundle's definition. An input bundle is a vector of the input levels x1, x2, x3. These are the inputs 1, 2, 3, into n. These are the inputs, and x shows the quantity. Production function y denotes the output level. The technology's production function states the maximum amount of output possible from an input's bundle. y is equal to f into x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. Production function with one input and one output shown on the screen where x axis shows the input levels and the y axis shows the output level. y is equal to f into x is the maximum output level obtained from x inputs unit. All the points on the production function shown with the green line are the maximum output level. The next is technology set. A production plan is an input bundles and an output level. A production plan is feasible if y less than or equal to f x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. Inputs which are used in that they are greater than or equal to the level of output. So the collection of all feasible production plan is the technology set. Technology set one input, one output. Each level of inputs on the screen, there are two possible maximum level of output. Y and Y. Both are feasible set in the one level of input X. Here there is a technology set. The technology set is now the area under the curve. Technology set is now the area under the curve. So left to right curve. First it is rising very sharply, and then it is getting flattening over a range. So we can say that technology set is basically all the output level which can be produced with a certain set of inputs. So these are the production function. Technology set one input and one output. Production function always shown all the points which are efficient plan and any plan below it is called in efficient plan. Technologies with multiple inputs. Technologies can be used with multiple inputs and there is output level Y and there are two inputs X1 and X2. Suppose the production function is here. There is a production function equation, but when there is a multiple level involved, so maximum level of output possible from a input bundle x1 and x2. Here there is x1 value is one and x2 value is eight. Technologies with multiple. 
It's a three-dimensional diagram and the technology is with multiple inputs. The Y output unit is the isocon. Is the set of all inputs bundled at years at the most the same output level Y. Technology with multiple inputs. The Y output unit isocon is the set of all inputs bundled that yields at most the same output level Y. Isocon with two variables. Y is equal to 4 isocon and Y is equal to 8. So these are the output length. Isocon with two variable input. Isocon can be graphed by adding an output level axis and displaying each isocon at the height of isocon output level. It means isocon with two variable inputs and Isocon with two variables input more isocon tell us more about the technology. There are isocon shown output level 2, 4, 6, 8. Isocon with two variables level curve. There are the isocon which are the level curve output. This shows the level of output, how it's a three dimensions short of the isocon. Technologies with multiple inputs, the complete collection of isocon is the isocon map. The isocon map is equivalent to the production function. Isocon which is showing the output level with the depth of the color. If I rotate, if I rotate, you can see that it will start giving you the level curve. We can give the dimension. So this is the isocon look like from 0 to 10. Output level is showing you that x1, x2 are basically now embedded in this curve. This is the isocon look like from 0 to 10. We can have Cope Douglas technologies in the form we have already done. The first is the general form of Cope Douglas production function. Here there is a value of n is equal to a is equal to 1, a1, 1, 1 by 3 and a2 also 1 by 3. So this is the general form of Cobb Douglas production function. Cobb Douglas technologies all isocon are hyperbolically asymptoting to but never touching any axis. If it touch any axis that means that you can produce without using one of the input. So it does not make a sense to so that of using the three dimensional level curve. So this was a codeless technologies. The next is Cobb Douglas technologies. All isoquant are hyperbolic asymptoting to but never touching any axis. <clears throat> fixed proportional technologies. A fixed proportions production functions is of the form y is equal to minimum a1 x1 a2 into x2 so on a and xn. For example y is equal to 
minimum x1 and 2x2 in which n is equal to a1 is equal to 1 and a2 is equal to 2. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.